All right, welcome hey. back. So we succeeded in installing our JDK or the Java Development Toolkit. All right. So the next thing we are going to be looking at or installing is our IntelliJ idea. All right. So you'll be wondering what is IntelliJ or what does IntelliJ idea mean? So ha have you heard of Notepad++ before? No, sir. Okay. So in order for you to write your Java applications, you need what is called an IDE. Is that right? An IDE is simply a text editor with lots of future that helps you to write your Java codes. Now, without your JDK, your IDE cannot work effectively. Does that make sense? That's why we had to install yeah. the JDK first before any other thing. Okay, sir. So developers use an IDE or the integrated development environment to write computer programs. So the most popular IDE for writing Java applications is the IntelliJ, right? So remember, everything we are doing now is to prepare your mind. It will not be wise for me to start introducing you with, to something that they've used 10 years ago and is no longer popular. Right, that's what they do in some of our schools. Sorry, I'll not be able to do that. So IntelliJ is what they are using like right now. So it's very, very popular among Java developers, among software developers, among people that write computer programs. So we want to get IntelliJ into our computer right away. So just type download IntelliJ. Hope you are seeing my Chrome. 